This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Luan Jones. If this is your first time to my cooking channel, please be sure to subscribe and then hit the notification bell. Today we will be making one of my favorite desserts because it includes my favorite ingredient of all, chocolate. We will be making a chocolate Oreo cheesecake. It's very easy to make and luscious to eat. Enjoy. Our ingredients for the filling include eight ounces of chocolate bar for melting, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of sugar, two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one Oreo cookie crust. The ingredients for the topping include one cup of heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and fresh fruit as a garnish. For today, I'll be using fresh strawberries. We'll begin by melting the eight ounces of chocolate. If you melt it in your microwave, be sure and put your microwave on a power of 50%. But depending on your microwave, you can be, uh, melt it to begin at 30 second increments or one minute increments. I will actually put this chocolate in at a one minute. And I will check the chocolate after one minute. It's not completely melted. Then I will continue to put it back in the microwave at 30 second increments until it is melted. Our chocolate is now melted. It actually took it a total of three minutes to melt, and I just simply checked it during the melting process just to make sure it wasn't getting overheated. And we'll stir this a bit, and then we'll let it cool while we make the whipped topping. While the chocolate cools, we'll prepare the homemade whipped cream topping. I began by chilling the bowl and the mixer spoons in the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes beforehand. Now I will add one cup of the heavy whipping cream and we'll add a half a cup of powdered sugar a little at a time as we mix. We're gonna mix the whipped cream and the powdered sugar until it starts to form stiff teeth. Be sure to add a half teaspoon of the vanilla extract to the whipped cream. And we'll mix that in. Now we'll prepare the filling. I let the cream cheese come to room temperature before I start it. Now we'll cream it along with the sugar. And then by the Next we'll add the half cup of sugar. I add about half at a time in between mixes. Next, we'll add one and a half cups of whipping cream, as well as, add it to this mixture, will be one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. And we'll mix that together for a couple more minutes. Next, I'm adding the chocolate, which we melted and let cool. We let the chocolate cool a little bit before we add it to the mixture, because if you add it to the mixture while it's hot, it might cake up and form uh, lumps. Be sure and scrape the pan, get all that good chocolate 
add about half of the whipped cream we prepared to the chocolate cream cheese filling. And we'll mix this for approximately 30 seconds to another minute. Be sure and scrape the sides if you need to. Make sure all of your mixture gets incorporated. We're now ready to add the mixture into our Oreo cooking crust. Now, if you like a pie that's a little darker chocolate, you can use dark chocolate bars for your mix. I used regular milk chocolate, but this is going to be very good. And if you want to, I know a lot of people like their cheesecake to be kind of a low level. You can level it off. Level it off. Before, and we're going and before we refrigerate it. And we're going to refrigerate it. Um, you refrigerate it anywhere from three to four hours. Here is the finished product. It's an it you. I let it chill overnight and then added the whipped cream, the strawberries as garnish to the entire cheesecake before serving. You can either add the garnish to the entire cheesecake as I have done or add the garnish to each slice as you serve it. If you'd rather not make your own cheesecake, feel free to contact me at lajuan0523 at gmail.com and I'll prepare one for you. Have a blessed day.